Good evening everyone, Brewmaster here with uh, another great ale review for you. This is something I've been anticipating for a while. Um, it's from a, a brewery that I really like and they've done something extra special this year. It's from Sierra Nevada and it's called the Beer Camp Across America. This year they have teamed up with 12 different breweries and made a 12 pack with 12 different beers, 12 different breweries. Um, and this is just the first of those videos. I don't know if I'll make a video of every one of the 12 but um, I'm going to try to make a bunch of them. Um, this particular one, like I said, is from Sierra Nevada. Um, they started in Chico, California, very early 80s, I think 83 or 84. Um, they're one of the first craft breweries, and they make a lot of really good beer, um, and they have been for a long time. They're one of the pioneers of the craft brewing scene. They've helped um, usher in a lot of good beers that a lot of people like, and uh, I'm really thankful for that myself. Um, this one, like I said, is part of the Beer Camp series. Um, this one is called Maliard's Odyssey. Um, it's an Imperial Dark Ale. It comes in at 8.5% ABV. It's brewed in collaboration with Bell's Brewery. Some of you may know, um, I know Bell's Hop Slam is a very, very popular uh, sought-after IPA. Well, Imperial IPA, I think it is. I think it's a bit more than a double. It's an imperial. Um, but anyway, it's a that Bell's a, has earned a, a good name in their own right. Um, and this is their collaboration. Um, it comes in at 40 IBUs. Uh, let's see what it has to say about it. Um, rich, dark, and roasty. That was our shared vision, and Maillard's Odyssey is exactly that, taking its name in part from the famed Maillard reaction, the browning of sugars and amino acids that creates the wonderful caramelized toffee-like and roasted flavors so abundant in this beer. Um, we brew in Chico, California and Mills River, North Carolina and bring you the finest quality beer. Um, this was packaged, bottled on 521.14, which as of today makes it about two months and just a couple of days old, so this is really fresh. Uh, the front label says, this robust dark ale is layered with complex malt flavors flavors and toffee caramel chocolate coffee and dark fruit um, pretty cool looking label I don't know if you can see that it's got a little beer camp and a little America United States shape below it let's go ahead and get a pour on this one and see what it looks like like I said I've been really waiting for these regular pint glass Munich I won't get too aggressive because this glass actually doesn't have a whole lot of extra headroom for a bottle. It's got a little, but... Wow. Pretty good surge for not being aggressive. I may have went a little bit overboard <laughs> with this one. As you can see, it poured a nice, thick two-finger head, a very, very dark tan, almost like a like a mocha covered, very creamy, foamy head, almost like the foam on like a, a latte or a cappuccino or something. Very, very, very thick and creamy. Um, it looked fairly carbonated, lots of little tiny bubbles. And it is very black. I can't see a bit through it. And I've even, I have lighting right behind the camera there, so it's pretty bright light and I can see nothing. Not even little hints of amber around the edges. So yeah, this one's really dark. Um, let's go ahead and get a nose for this one. See what it smells like. Definitely lots of dark roast. Um, some some coffee. Definitely toffee. That buttery, rich, um, sweet smell. Maybe even some milk chocolate. It's a very smooth, roasty, chocolatey, like, coffee smell. Just, uh... It reminds me of a, of a really expensive coffee. Mm, it smells really, really good. Let's go ahead and get a taste of this one. See what this one tastes like. Mm. Lots of coffee. Dark black coffee. Not too bitter, though, but nice dark black coffee. Um followed quickly by that really roasted caramel um, 
Um, it's like a, a semi-sweet chocolate, not a bittersweet, but not a milk either, like a semi-sweet chocolate, like a baker's kind of chocolate. It's it's really smooth. Um, there is honestly very little of that 8.5% coming through. It's not boozy at all, just a little bit of a, a warm down the back of your throat as in like an afterthought. It's really smooth, um, nice heavy mouthfeel like you would expect from something like this. I mean, they call it an Imperial Dark Ale. Um, and maybe it's not quite as thick um, or heavy of a mouthfeel as an Imperial Stout, but it, it's it's pretty close. Um, I would definitely say this is more uh, it's closer to a stout than an ale. Um, but it's really good. Mm, as you can see, I can't put it down. Lots of nice lacing. Um, it's retained about a finger of the head, almost a finger. It looks like it probably won't just go away anytime soon. Um, this one's really tasty. Um, if this is uh, any indication of what the rest of these are going to be like, I expect a lot of quality beers. Like I said, this is a, I don't know if this has ever been done before, a collaboration of this kind. Um, I salute Sierra Nevada for thinking of it and going out there and wanting to help promote these other breweries. A lot of um, a lot of businesses of other types might not do this, but that just shows you what the craft brewing um, community is like. Um, Sierra Nevada, they're out there. They want to make money, but I think just as important, they want to make good beer and they want craft breweries to survive and to even flourish. And uh, they're doing everything they can to help that. So yeah, um, if you guys if you guys have get a chance, pick one of these up. I I understand the first run at least is extremely rare. Um, hard to come by. I know my local shop got four 12 packs. That's all I got. And they're saying that uh, the top half of my state might have gotten like 18 12 packs total. So it's 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 pretty uh, rare. I know other states may get more, especially closer to the two breweries. But um, I think it's going to be rare overall unless they release a larger quantity later which they do do with their beer camps. Most usually, I think, they do two runs, one limited at first, and then release a bunch more later. So um, if you can't find it this time, definitely be looking for it. If they release it again, this is really, uh, really good stuff, and it's a really good opportunity to try a lot of um, very high-class craft breweries. I've been Brewmaster, and as always, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. And um, any constructive criticism is always welcomed. Thank you, guys. Cheers.